Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to share with you a product that I have been trying for three months now that is supposed to be helpful for period cramps. Now, I am somebody who deals with really, really, really bad period cramps to the point where I am just laying in bed, sometimes crying. Um, I know there are some women who even like throw up when they're on their period because the pain is so bad. Fortunately, I've never had it where I've thrown up, but I have had it where I just feel like I'm dying, kind of. And I'm sure a lot of other women, maybe you, have also felt that way before. So when it comes to finding things to help with period cramps, I'm always kind of like open to try it, depending on what it is, of course. I honestly haven't like tried a whole lot of like herbal supplements, I guess, for period cramps, but um, I have tried other things like balms that you can kind of like apply. And I have just found that those like, those kind of like topical treatments don't really work that much for me. Um, sometimes they can be helpful, but anyway, point is I'm down to try new things. So this is a brand called Elix and this is basically an herbal and nutritional supplement. That's exactly what it says here on the bottle. So basically the whole idea behind this is that it is supposed to help reduce the period cramps over time. They do say to use it for at least three months to really see results. So that's why I waited three months before making this video. I was originally planning on making this video and then I definitely like kind of hesitated to make it, but I decided I'd just make it anyways because maybe some of you would find this helpful. So basically what this is, it's a tincture um, with Chinese herbs. Um, and basically on their website, they have kind of a questionnaire that you're supposed to fill out and that's supposed to create your specific formula. Now mine does have my name on it here. It says made with love for, Dan for Danny. It's supposed to have a special formula based on the answers that you give with the questionnaire. So it's going to ask you things like how long does your cycle normally um, last? Like is your period normally late? Is it normally regular? What is it like? Um, or is it irregular? Um, and like do you, how bad is the pain? Questions like that. Um, and that is supposed to make you a very specific formula based on those answers. To be completely honest, I am very curious if they actually do change up the formula depending on the way you answer those questions or if it really is a set formula. I honestly have no idea. Um, it kind of feels like maybe it's all the same. Like maybe every blend that they have is the same. I might be totally wrong, so don't take my word for that. Maybe it is very individual, but for some reason I kind of feel like it might literally be only one blend that they do for everybody. I'm honestly not sure though. I might be totally wrong. Um, so don't quote me on that. But my blend, I'm gonna tell you what mine has in it. So there are a bunch of different Chinese herbs. Um, and then it also has magnesium glycinate in it. And magnesium glycinate is actually a supplement that if you want to kind of add a supplement into your dietary needs or whatever, um, definitely, check out magnesium glycinate even on its own. I actually do use a magnesium glycinate. It was recommended to me by my functional practitioner specifically for period cramps. Um, and that is a good form of magnesium. Anyway, so my blend of the Elix formula has, I'm probably gonna say this so wrong, Corydalis yanhusuo, Cypris angelica sinensis, white peony root, Poria attractylodes, ginger, I'm saying these all so wrong, I'm sure. Um, Puplarium, Tucson fruit, motherwort, peppermint, and licorice. And then of course, it, again, it has that magnesium glycinate in here. In here, there's only one gram of magnesium glycinate. As I mentioned, I do take another magnesium glycinate that is from Pure Encapsulations. That's a really good brand, definitely recommend them. I've talked about um, that brand in some other videos, like some of my acne videos. Um, they have some really good supplements and it's a brand that my functional practitioner recommends. But anyway, so let's get into kind of what I saw with these, what results I saw with this. I did test this out for three months. On the first month, I didn't notice a difference at all. My period cramps were still really, really bad. Um, and then the second month, I think that my cramps were worse than normal. I don't necessarily think it was because of this. Um, I think it might have been just because I wasn't eating as healthy and the food that you eat can definitely kind of impact. It can definitely impact period cramps, I would say, because certain foods that you eat cause more inflammation and 
yeah, so I feel like that could definitely contribute to the amount of cramps that you had, depending on what your diet is like. Um, so that's something to kind of be aware of as well. But even if you are eating healthy all the time, it's still possible that you might have bad period cramps. So first month, second month, didn't see a difference with this. Third month, this is actually my second day of my third month using this, um, like of the third month of my period using this. I did use this um, already. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use this five to seven days before your period starts. So I definitely started like seven days before my period started um, using this. Um, normally I did seven days. I wanted to really give it time to work before my period started. And I would say the third month, I think maybe it helped a little bit. Now the first day of my period is normally when I get the most pain. Um, the second day I normally get some pain as well, but it's more tolerable. Sometimes I won't take medicine on the second day. The first day I pretty much always feel like I have to take medicine because I'm just in like terrible, terrible pain. I would say the third month, my period actually started without me being in terrible pain. I still had a little bit of cramps, but it wasn't as bad. And that could have just been just because it was just barely just starting. Um, and then it ended up, the pain did start getting a little bit worse. And then I did end up taking medicine almost kind of out of fear. I didn't really want to let it get at its worst because it's awful. So I did not wait. <laughs> Once I started feeling the pain getting worse, I did take some medicine, um, some ibuprofen, and yeah. So I'm honestly not sure if this has really worked that much in three months. Um, I think maybe possibly, because it is now the second day of my period. I'm, I feel like just a hint of cramps, really not bad at all on the second day. And I feel like normally on the second day of my period is a little bit worse than it is right now. So I think maybe it's possible that this is why this might be helping. Um, I'd be very curious to try this for a longer period of time. I don't know if I'm going to. This was kindly gifted to me for three months to test out. The brand did reach out to me. This video is not sponsored. They don't even know that I'm making this video, but these were gifted to me to test out. And yeah, I'm just not sure if I'm gonna repurchase it or not. This costs $48 a month, so it's $48 per bottle, which does kind of feel like it's on the pricey side. But if it's something that's gonna help your cramps for some people, that may definitely be worth it. Um, I feel like it would be worth it for me if it really, if I really found that it did help just because it, it, my cramps are so bad sometimes where I like can't even really function that well that day that I'm having the cramps. Um, so it depends on how bad your cramps are if you really feel like it would be worth the investment for you. But I mean, it is pricey, $48 a month. I don't know, I guess it depends on the person. For me personally, that feels a bit pricey, but I mean, I understand why they do price it like that. On their website, it says, I'm just gonna read you this little thing off of their website. So it says, Elix formulas contain a higher concentration of herbs compared to anything else we could find on the market. Others use less than the general recommended dosage or give less volume and, refu and we refuse to skimp. We believe this is why it works for about 90% of women who try it. As you can imagine, there are certain costs associated with creating a sustainably sourced, high quality product that we not only stand behind, but also feel proud to use ourselves. We try to make our prices more accessible than the cost of seeing an herbalist or acupuncturist to get personalized herbs, which would typically be at least $65 to $150 or more um, for the console, plus $60 to $100 for the herbs. So I do understand why they do price it. I do think because of that, um, I think that $48 is a good price. Um, but I mean, it's I know it's still probably pricey for some people and depends on if it works. So my thoughts, I guess, is the thing is, this is so individual if it's gonna work for you. If you have been looking some, looking for something to help with period cramps, maybe this is worth giving it a try. Definitely look into it a little more if you are interested. It's just, I, it's, it's hard to know how it's gonna work because it can work differently for everybody. It will work for some people, it will, won't work for other people. For me, personally, I'm not really sure if it works. I think it has the possibility of working. I definitely think it's worked a little bit. I think it's worked a little bit on by this third month. First and second month, no, I didn't notice a difference. By the third month, I think, I think I did notice a little bit of a difference where the cramps haven't been quite as bad. Given I did take medicine that first day, but um, the second day, um, I feel like the cramps weren't as bad as they normally are. Um, and I do think that if I did use it for a longer period of time, there would be the potential of it helping even more. But am I gonna spend $48 per month on it? I don't know. I really kind of want to continue using it for longer. I'd love to use this for like six months. Um, if you have really severe cramps, I feel like it could possibly 
take a longer period of time for you to really see results with this um, just because it takes your body time to adjust um, but if you are looking for some other options um, something that would actually be more affordable is incorporating a magnesium glycinate supplement into your diet um, the one I rec I have two that I recommend they're both from pure encapsulation encapsulations I've been using both of them for quite a while they have a capsule form and they also have a liquid form I personally really like both of them um, and I feel like those um, can be really helpful as well again those were ones that were recommended to me by my functional practitioner I will link and list both of those products below depending on how many you get like how many capsules you get um, for the pill version of it I think it's it might be over $40 but it's gonna last you a lot longer than a month um, you can use it for a longer period of time and again even with a magnesium glycinate supplement or magnesium supplement you still want to give it time for your body to adjust um, I have been using those for a while um, and I still do get cramps but I have heard that that has helped for a lot of people um, and my functional practitioner mentioned to me that um, as women our body actually kind of like gets rid of magnesium in our body in that week um, prior to our period and I believe the week of our period it might be just the week of our period I'm no doctor um, but um, I believe basically your body kind of gets rid of magnesium quicker during your period so it lacks that um, so having more magnesium can be helpful for helping to soothe, soothe those cramps so yeah that's a good thing to kind of consider if you guys do want to check this out I will list it and link it in the description box below and again I'll list the magnesium supplements that I use as well on a day-to-day -day basis I do take uh, magnesium every day um, but I normally just take like the dose that it says on the bottle it's just the week before my period and the week during my period I just take a little bit more of the magnesium anyway that is it for today's video if you guys want to see another video that I did about some of my favorite periods period products and feminine hygiene products. I did do a video about that a while back. It also includes some like other kind of like period products I use like a heating pad that I really like and recommend. I mentioned in that video. Um, I will list that video in the description box below if you guys want to check it out. I also have like a feminine wellness playlist on my channel as well if you guys want to check that out. Um, but if you guys have any hacks for period cramps or things that have helped you, please let me know. I would love some recommendations, some more things that I could try and um, your recommendations could also help other people. So leave them down below if you have anything that has really helped you. But yeah, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, it would mean so much to me if you would go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you guys do want to see even more content from me in the future, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye guys. Ah.